He's got a cold. <laughs> I do. And if you watch at the end, you might find out what he really has. Hi, we are L.A. and Dean. Exploring grandparents. Wow, so good to see you. Absolutely. So we are in the Philippines. And we're actually in Oslo. And uh, we came down from Cebu City. Yes, in a car. And it was 118 kilometers and it took... Yeah, pretty much three and a half hours. Yes. And we were like, how come in Canada that would be like an hour and a little bit? Yeah. If yeah. you drove fast, it would be faster. You know anyway. What? So excited to see the whale sharks. Exactly. And we did. And you're going to see that. What else did we do? Well, you know, we, um, we stayed at our hotel here and uh, did some walking around the city of Oslo and learned a lot about the history here. Yes, absolutely. We're staying at the Babylon Hotel, which was yeah. our second one because we got the wrong dates. But you know what? You're going to see in this video the hotel as well. And you're going to see why we're very happy with it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you're also going to see a church made out of coral. You know what? And it's amazing. It is. Uh, it was built around the uh, late 1800s. Yes, it was. Oh, and you know what? People are right in the water in front of us. You can snorkel. Yeah, it, and it's the water, as you can see behind us, is just beautiful. Yeah, and we went to, we walked down and we found another hotel that had a restaurant that was very exciting and we had cucumber water, which was delicious. Anyway, we hope you enjoy our video. Absolutely, come along. Why would you love it here? If you like warm weather, super friendly people, it's walkable all around here and you see You've seen churches, old churches from the 1800s. And there's printing shops here. Uh, there's some restaurants, there's grocery stores, there's 7-Elevens close by. And they do your laundry. Hey, excuse me, do you know like this church? Yes, ma'am. I live here. What is it? Immaculate Conception Church. Okay, do you know how old it is? Uh, from 1892. Really? Yes. Thank you so much. No problem. Yes, uh, you can read this, the story. Oh, there's yeah. a story yeah. there. Thank you so much. Welcome. This is made from the coral stone. Do you mind if you're on the video? Okay. Problem. It is made by coral stone. Yeah. Coral stone. Oh. Yeah, from the sea. Yeah, yeah. From the sea. Only a uh, man, only a uh, handmade. Yeah, yeah. No mechanism at all. Wow. It is. Has it been restored at all, or is this the original? Original, and ah. because it is born three times. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they born three times, and then the roof is not. Is that the original? Okay. okay. Yes. Thank you so no. much. It's so amazing. This unique structure was built through the effort of El Gran Mastón Don Marco Sabando to serve as barracks for Spanish armies, but was halted during the arrival of Americans in 1899. So it's a coral stone used for its construction. It came from remnants of the collapsed floor of the church bell tower. Hi. So we are at the Babylon Hotel guest house. And I want to show you around. So this is it. And I'm just going to show you outside of it. There's a nice row to walk. But here is the place. And you're going to come along with me. 
and eventually come to our room. So there are actually, this is a perfect place to rent a scooter. You, it's very quiet, like Cebu City is very busy, but here you can scooter around and see all the sights. Scooters you can rent from them, and I will put in here how much they are to rent. And there is a little sitting room here in the lobby. And as you can see, there's the office who've been very helpful and we've ordered food from them, which is lovely. Oh, there we go. Wave hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, and you can actually buy some beer or some water or some other drinks here. And you can buy some souvenirs and some treats as well. Some uh, seven fifty to wash all our clothes, which was amazing, and they did it in less than a day, which was very nice. And this is the nice part about this hotel. Lots of places have a balcony that you can sit on, and we like to have our coffee there. But here, we have a—you'll see our room. This is a room. Good morning. You get your breakfast in and look at the view. It's a lovely place. And we even come down here. We come down here in the evening and play cards. We've met people here. It's a lovely place to be. It's nice and cool in the morning, fans in the night. It's great. So now I'm going to take you to our room. So they carried our luggage up for us because there's no elevator, there's steps. And if you look, this is our room, which we're going to go into. But look what's at the end of our hallway. You can go out here and see, and it's wind, it's a lovely cool wind. We hung our stuff up here to dry after the whale shark. You're gonna see our room now, and you're gonna see what we were telling you about in the beginning. So let's go into our room. I'm gonna put this here because we lose our cards sometimes. I'm gonna start with bathroom. And actually, I actually had a shower in here and I had hot water, like really hot water. Pressure is not great at all, but it's warm water. So you can actually change the temperature of the water and it turned very nice. And then this is our room. Yes, it's small, but believe me, it worked with us putting our stuff underneath there. It did come with a fridge, which we're very happy about. And of course, there's a grocery store within walking distance from here that was great. And here's our bed. And here's our sicky COVID. Philippines COVID. Yeah. So it's a nice big bed, as you can see. And we have a chair. And look at our view. We get to see the ocean. Oh, and it has a, I don't know, it filters the air, which is really good because I haven't gotten COVID. Thank you so much for coming and watching this and thank you so much for coming into the room with us and you're safe, don't worry. <laughs> thank you. That the water is very, very hot. So this is our coffee. 
every morning since we've been here. It's so lovely. I don't know if you can hear the roosters. And it, what time is it? Six. Six o'clock. Because the sun rises <coughs> at 5.30 here. Why would you love it here? If you like warm weather, super friendly people, it's walkable all around here and you see You've seen churches, old churches from the 1800s. And there's printing shops here. Uh, there's some restaurants, there's grocery stores, there's 7-Elevens close by. And they do your laundry. <laughs>